Alright guys, welcome again to my channel. This is Ron Johnson here, the fish enthusiast, a mental health coach, and soon to be a therapist. But right now, I did something completely new. So I saw this on Ohio Fish Rescue. I decided to get myself a sign that says Volt, because Volt's in here, Electric Eel, and my logo there. So what I did is I actually dropped two wires. You guys probably can't see that, but I'll zoom in later in the back of the tank and have some of his favorite food here. So let's see if he actually eats it. I don't know if this is gonna work or not, but first thing you do is, is try something, right? I'm not an electric engineer. I don't know what's gonna happen. So I'm gonna drop some food. Well, his favorite kind of food in the back of the tank. And let's see if he actually goes for it. What the purpose is, is that if I get the electric field close enough, it'll actually light up this sign. So let's see if we can actually go for the food. So I dropped too many wires in there. Not for sure if it's actually gonna work, but I'm really, really curious. So let's let's kind of focus in on that. Well, I don't know if he likes it or not, but he's not going for something just yet. I don't know if he actually will go for it. He's definitely behind the log. So we'll still keep waiting and see if he actually goes for food that's in the corner. The actually wire is actually here. But what could happen when I was doing some brief, uh, brief research is though at, <clears throat> at his size, he can emit about 100 volts. Obviously, the bigger they are, the more volts they emit. But this, this wire only takes about, what, maybe three or four volts to actually light up. So I'm not for sure if that actually will happen. Like I said, I'm not an engineer, so I have no idea. Um, I'm not an engineer electrician, so I have no idea what's going to happen. But I'm going to wait and see if he actually goes to the food and the sign actually lights up here. Well, if I look in close, he's there. His food is there. He must be a little pissed off because it hasn't happened yet. But let's, I'm going to kind of let it run here and see if he actually goes for it. Let me jump in here and try and take a look. Um, make sure this is actually right. So you guys can actually see me talk. Um, but he did come up for air, so I saw that in the background while I was kind of waiting. There's still food there, and he did not light up the light here. So I'm not for sure exactly if it's not big enough. He's not emitting, emitting or discharging any energy at the time, which it should be 24-7. He's there in the corner. I can see his face. His food is still there. So... I'm just going to keep letting it run for another few minutes to see if it actually lights up the light. Again, first time doing this, not for sure what the heck's going to happen, but for the most part, you got to try something to actually find out. And I think it's pretty cool. Volt, my logo there. So let's keep watching. Let's see what happens. Okay, well, to me, it seemed like it was a fail. Well, it looks like it was a fail. I didn't see it light up. I didn't see nothing happening. His food's in there. Maybe he's just a little kind of annoyed, maybe because he feels something in his tank. So that's the case could be happening, but I'll keep trying. I'll keep checking with you guys to see what can I do better to actually make it sure it works because I'm just not for sure how it works. Probably very simple, split the wires, drop two wires inside the tank, and obviously it should work, but 
it's not working. It could be the size or he's just not in the mood for actually doing something right now. But his food's there, and I'm going to keep practicing, let it run. But if you guys can, leave me a comment and, uh, in the below and let me know what can I do different or how to make sure it works. So thanks for listening, and don't forget to subscribe. Thank <laughs> you.